are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the New York Jets and the Dallas Cowboys. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll start the drive with Elliott to about the 33-yard line. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Prescott now incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Now Prescott. And incomplete on the deep ball. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. The Jets have Braxton Berrios back deep. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. It's time, dog. Now Hall to start the drive. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. The play fake, now White. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first and ten, it's Hall. Oh, he shifts past him. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Off play action, here's White. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Now, here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Gets around him, and finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. 
that means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. Yeah, I guess I need to clarify. I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. Now White. This is caught. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Well, safe to say the passing game has found a rhythm. He's now four of four, but might need to be five of five to keep this drive going here as they face a third down. And maybe perhaps you show a running play, right? Maybe a little play action here to go ahead and let him throw the ball downfield. I wouldn't get it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Zonovan Knight taking it in from a yard out. And the Jets are on the board first here this afternoon. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Zerline good with a PAT, and that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out, a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves job that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened, but then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Off the play fake, Prescott. He finds his target, it's Schultz. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else, and now it's third and 10. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And it'll be fourth down. But it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. On is the punter, Brian Anger, to kick this one away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Jets will take over. They'll start on the ground. Hall. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. 
It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. From the 29, White. And he will go down, a Cowboys sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. That's a ball he needs to let go of there. Wasn't the most time in the world to work through his progression, but NFL quarterbacks, they've got to sense the pressure. They've got that internal clock, and the ball has to be gone. And if you're not going to escape and run for it, you have to let it go before the pressure gets to you and puts you on the ground. He's going to look deep for more. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. It's a big play there for the Jets on third down. 41 yards. Mike McCarthy pretty decisive. He brings out that red challenge flag. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And the tackle there by Quan Alexander. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. Got a man. It's Brown. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. And this one is incomplete. So the pass goes out of bounds, but he was not outside of the tackle box when he threw that. He's got to be careful. You and I both know if it's even close, they're going to give it to the quarterback. They don't want to throw that flag unnecessarily. So if you're just in the area, you're going to be okay. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. On play action, Prescott. This will be caught by Brown. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. 
Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot. Defensively, how do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Pollard, nifty. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard taking it in from four yards out. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from drawing level. Well, uh, wherever he is on the field, he is certainly slippery with a football in his hands, and he proved it right there. And normally moves like that aren't supposed to work this deep in the red zone because there's not enough space. Normally way more effective when you're working out in the open field. But here, incredible shiftiness, excellent contact balance, and he works his way into the end zone. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And New York set to take the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. On second and 10, White. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. To throw White. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons showing off that elite athleticism as he gets the sack. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. 46 on his first kick, this one in that neighborhood as well. A call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Takes it to about the 37. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. 
7-7. Our score after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They go to Elliott again. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. On third down, it's Prescott. He finds his man complete. That's Schultz. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. I thought maybe when he caught it, he'd have a good chance of getting that first down, but that's a nice job of holding him up and preventing him from getting to the sticks. Here's Brian Anger now as he's on to punt for Dallas. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, they gave up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. And just not much to be had there. One yard out to the 10. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. White looks to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Hall. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. On the counter, it's Hall. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. White. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I'm sure that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay two for three thus far. This is third and 11. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22 and he needed plenty more. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little gain. Here's Braden Mann now as he's on to punt for New York. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. Play action now, Prescott. Open man downfield is Lamb, it's complete. 
And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. C.D. Lamb, 63 yards. And the Cowboys have moved out in front. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up for you as well. Because if I'm a defense, I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. the touchdown. Here's Marr to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Back on offense. New York gets set to take over. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 43 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. A perfect example right there, Charles, of why they love this rookie runner. And think about how the NFL and the college games are meshing together more and more. You don't have to go to the NFL and learn a new set of skills. What you did in college often makes you ready for the NFL. They'll go again with Hall. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Prescott to throw it. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made it. They're looking for Lamb, but it's intercepted. Picked up by D.J. Reed. And the Jets are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and it'll be a third and about 13. Well, that wasn't exactly a work of art, was it? No, that wasn't a thing of beauty. That's just why I don't play in points per reception fantasy league. Is that, is that what they call The receiver PPR? still gets a point there. Yeah. No. And you went that far back. 
No bueno. Well, I'll tell you what, I wish I had their defense on that in my fantasy game. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football, but you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to pump this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. It's just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. To throw again on second down. Prescott, he finds his man complete. It's Schultz. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Prescott from the gun. shot him there it's out of bounds incomplete no receivers open downfield so instead of forcing the ball to the sideline he's gonna throw this one down to Fort Worth he'd rather have the incompletion than the turnover here's second and ten now from about the 32 now Prescott and his throw is incomplete well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. The Cowboys on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. Prescott yet again. This is caught. Touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have taken a two-touchdown lead now. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. But let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. you got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. Touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive 
and give his leg a rest. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. On second down now, it's Knight, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's White. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. From the 37, they work on second and six. Now White. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 38-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Neville Gallimore powering his way in and burying him. After the sack on first down, White. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Operating from the gun, White. Uncorks one for Davis. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit him over the top unsuccessfully. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And this will do the job nicely as that will be out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems he? like every year these guys get better and better. It's amazing how they can command that football through the air. Yeah, they used to actually practice with hula hoops where they place them and try and put them there. Now a lot of guys use barrels on the sidelines to try and put the football in one. First down, Prescott. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. To throw again on second down, Prescott. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Prescott on first down. And he'll go right back to Lamb. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. 
Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. To the air again, Prescott. Out of his hands quickly to C.D. Lamb. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. Throwing, Prescott able to hit his target, Lamb. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. And that was a heck of a play there on the outside. Partner, sometimes I think on a play like this as a corner, you've got to think to yourself, all I've got to do is slow him down so others can come over and support but in this case, he said, forget that. I've got this. Sorry you had to make the run for nothing, fellas. That is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Cowboys. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. That score that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there unable to do so that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult extra point by Moore up and good and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 Touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. And the Jets going to go on offense one last time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. This taken in at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And the Jets head out on offense here to start this third quarter. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something, though, out of this drive, at least three points. Are you trying to say that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators? They just don't have it, right? <laughs> You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive, but maybe cut into it a little bit, as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. On second down, a run with Hall. 
And not a whole lot to speak of there as he'll bring him down shy of the 20. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Out of the gun, it's White. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here's the Jets punter now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. But they got to be thrilled with how they've operated so far in this one. They've got the nice lead and now a chance to score here on three straight possessions. Yeah, and the way that they are rolling... I just don't know how they get slowed down because they certainly are operating at peak efficiency right now. They might want to think about giving some of their backups a little bit of work, though. Let some other guys get on the field and do their thing and save some of this for the next time out. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Nathan Shepard in there to make the tackle. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the 30 on second down, Prescott. And a little floater there is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Here's Prescott. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. A first down carry by Elliott. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back in the 24. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. And they visited the end zone frequently in this one, and obviously they wanted another one. But give credit to the defense there. They may not make the comeback, but pride showed good sack on that play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Swinging this out for Pollard. And he's going to get this to about the 20, but that is well short of what he needed. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? Marr able to put this one through. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they forced him to take him to three. But he did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them.
after the main field goal. Marr back out there to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And New York set to take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Now White. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And it brings up third and five now. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really on to something there. And this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. And that play, it wound up losing yardage. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense. Blanket in the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Here's the Jets punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. To throw on second and six, Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Prescott off play action. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. On second down, Elliott. A nice little juke. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They keep on the ground with Elliott. A gain of three, second down. They're in a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. 
Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Prescott. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. To throw is Prescott. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. On fourth down, Prescott goes off, and on comes the Cowboy kicker, Brett Maher, for the field goal try. The kick by Maher is good, and that will extend their lead even further. I got to think, at this point, third quarter, if you're able to hold on to the ball, get three at the end, that's all you're looking for. I would agree with that because right now, this is a job well done by them. In fact, it's almost time for handshakes, a little dap on the sidelines, maybe even starting to discuss post-game plans. And for the guys who haven't played yet, go ahead and get loose. Your time is now. After the main field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Now the Jets offense about set to take over as they head onto the field. We haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. White. They'll set up the screen for Hall. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. To throw, White. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. 
Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. White looks to throw. Oh, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. Following the interception, here's Prescott. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Throwing again on second and ten. Prescott over the middle, hold in by Lamb. And the Cowboys are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked out before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties, and when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, that's exactly what you're looking for. On second and goal, Prescott over the middle here. It's Hilton. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. There have not been a lot of great moments for this defense throughout this game. Finally, they have one they can hang their hat on. A nice stop there. They'll run it with Elliott, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point by Moore, up and good. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And New York set to take the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Here's White. Open man here is 
is Conklin. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. Now this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is. For this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of sour notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Buying time to his left. His throw incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. The offense on third down, not so hot. Two for nine to this point. Here it's third and three. From the shotgun, here's White. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're gonna have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Gotta try it here, he's back to throw. And he's gonna be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. Takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead, and it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them, play it straight, do all the right things, but these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances, and that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fields it right around the goal line. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Throwing after the interception, White. And he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Neville Gallimore picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Well, have a game, sir, why don't you? A sack earlier and an exclamation point here late in the game. And this one, won by his side of the ball. They played so well, surprised he didn't get a second sack earlier. To try again after the sack, White. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. A gain of 32 that time. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. Now White. And he'll find Hall. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. 
Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. From just shy of midfield, White toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first down, it's White. Going right back to Wilson. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation. Give me a... Now White lost the football. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. Back to throw. White. Now he's going to let it go deep, right sideline. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. Here's the Jets punter now as he's on here to punt it away. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. But time to get another look at this Cowboys offense. We paid this offense plenty of compliments already, but, I mean, they are deserving as they start another series. To be leading by this much with so much time left to play in the fourth, Charles, it's really, really been impressive to watch. It has been, and you have to think to yourself, the preparation that went into this, but the absolute focus that they kept throughout in order to have this kind of a result, this is Super Bowl-esque, and they've got to feel awfully good about what they put out there today. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, it's Elliott. Consecutive runs of six yards gives him a first and ten. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. So from the 36 now, first and ten. Up the middle, here's Elliott. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 80 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Give the tackle that time to Jordan Whitehead. 
run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick, more than a space eater. He just made a great play there. The kick by Marr is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but... They'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know. If you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. After the main field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And New York set to take the field. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Right throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, a touchdown here on this drive, it, it wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now, but... As you mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking for replacements. Treat every drive as if it's your last and make it a successful one in some small way. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Looking to throw again on second down. White on the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. This offense so far on third down, they've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. Here it's third and two. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Moore. And he is going to have a Jets first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. White's throw going to be caught by Davis. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Thank you. 
Now White with a first down throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. No gain on the screen there. It's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Throwing again on second down. White, he's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Trying to run for it with Pollard. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session.